Hello everyone, in three ways to connect your desktop and your phone. So a couple of things first, you're not seeing my face because I usually use my phone to do that and I need to use my phone right now, obviously. And also I'm using GNOME right now for reasons I, I'll explain later, but of course this applies to both Plasma and GNOME. The first one, which is pretty cool, let's open up a terminal, is Skrkpi or screen copy, Skrkpi. And you need to enable ADB debugging to use this, but then you just install it and run it. And the gold thing is that it will just show the phone. And if you control this thingy from the desktop, it will also apply to the phone. And if I use the phone, it will also apply to what I'm seeing, which is a super useful, very easy way to actually, you know, use the phone without touching it. And in fact, I think I'll just use this one to showcase the next features as well. The second one is using your phone camera as a camera for the computer. There are a couple of ways to do that. I do have both. So let's open up this. And in this case, having a touch screen laptop is very useful. Droidcam and Droidcam X. So Droidcam X is a more of a classical camera. And then there's Droidcam OBS, which is what I use to record with OBS. And it's very easy. So I take the phone, I put it somewhere where it makes sense, like here, hello. So you see that OBS is doing his thing and it's actually already connected to this OBS that you're seeing, which means that just by opening up the app, you can now see my pretty face. Of course, I put the phone in the wrong direction, but hello, I'm here, it's me. The next one, and let me get my face out of the way as soon as possible uh, by, hello, how do I get out of here? Okay, and of course the next one, and please phone get back to vertical to showcase this is, well, it won't get to vertical, but doesn't matter. The next one, as I was saying, is KD Connect. In this case, I'm using GNOME, so it's actually uh, GS Connect, and you install KD Connect on your phone, and then uh, you install the KD Connect uh, on uh, Plasma as well, or if you're using GNOME, then it's GSC Connect uh, extension. And you get here in Plasma in the scene center as well, a little icon with the name of your device, the battery, and a lot of options to interact with it. So you can interact both ways. The first one is as an example, just to take the messages, uh, which are SMS. So if you need to qu quickly send an SMS, this is super useful. Then there is the next one, which is ring to find your phone if you lost it. And then next one, the keyboard to actually use your desktop's keyboard to type on the phone, which is very cool. Mount to reach the files. Photo, I think is particularly cool. And to do this, actually, let me open up again, Skrkpi, so Skrkpi. So you're actually seeing what's happening. So this is KD Connect. And if I go here and type photo, I get the camera on the device, and then I can take a picture. I press okay. And then I wait for a couple of seconds and that photo automatically transfers to my desktop and opens up here. So without almost touching the device, I can take a photo with my phone asking from the computer, which is super cool, I love it. Then what else do we have? There's share to share a file, obviously. And if we go into mobile settings, and there is actually more to that if you click here. We in theory should be able to sync the clipboard but Android is messing this up. You can also share the media players between the two. So if you're watching a video from your computer, you can pause it and change the volume from the app. There's also lots of stuff in the app itself. You can send files, obviously, but also as an example, I find remote input particularly cool. I can, as I'm doing right now, move the mouse using the, the phone. And I can also type from the phone, which is cool. I also can run commands. And then of course there's multimedia control. I can change the volume and even like within the device. So lots of options here. You can even peer more than one device here. In here, you also get a bunch of stuff. 
the battery you can i think this is pretty cool in telephony you can pause the media you're watching if you get an incoming call which means that if you're watching a video on youtube and you get a call then the video on youtube automatically stops and that's so cool it once happened to me and i was like whoa technology is actually working and that's about it these are the three cool ways you can connect your phone and desktop so number one skirk number two droidcam and number three kiddy connect and honestly i don't know what else you would want well of course you might want to run um well you might want to run applications um on your desktop that are for Android, but that's not really connect connecting your phone and that's WayDroid. And of course I will sooner or later talk about WayDroid on this channel, so stay tuned. And as always, let, let me actually get back to uh, DroidCam OBS so I can say hello. And as always, as always, actually as uh, yesterday, I haven't brought here the new animations for the donations, sorry about that, but I'm still working on it and before tomorrow it will be done. I hope you found this useful, see you tomorrow.